Where are my scars gone? Is this liquid cold? Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. It's nice and early today, which is 7 a.m. I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry, but we're gonna do this review. As always, I'm so excited when I get to try new products, especially when it's NYX makeup because you guys know I love NYX. I'm gonna be trying the new Total Control Pro foundation that I've been seeing everywhere. I also have the Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum, but I think I might keep that for another day. And I might buy a lighter one because this is very dark. I don't know, but let me know because I, I don't want to disrupt the foundation. I want to try this first and then we can try this. I don't know, I don't know. And I looked at the shade and it was really dark, so I know I need another shade. But yeah, I've just got a bunch of other new stuff that I saw on the Beauty Bay website. And I was like, I need to try this. The NYX Brow Glue. This has been everywhere on my TikTok and I've been dying to try it because you know I've been loving that laminated, kind of like bushy brow look and this looks like that's what it gives today's post notification shout out is going to go to shreya edija so thank you so much for hitting that bell button um if you guys want to get a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so so you guys know i always start with my brows so i'm going to start off with my brows this is what the brow glue looks like it comes in a little tiny tube i love that it comes with a little tiny brush you can really get in there do you know what i'm just gonna go like this just coat it first. I mean, that's doing a pretty good job, right? Other side. I'm just gonna let that dry a bit and I'm gonna see if I can manipulate a little bit better, a bit better. Cause sometimes with these products, with like even just the hair gel that I use or even this soap brow that I use, you just have to let it dry a bit so that you can really like manipulate the hairs. Okay, so far I'm very, very, very happy with that. It's definitely staying in place and it doesn't feel like hard or anything. It's not giving me any like white marks. So yeah, really happy with that so far. I also got the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and I got the shade Caramel. This looks really fine. I don't think the shade's right though. It's really hit and miss with these kind of products because sometimes they look too... Uh, felt tippy like they look like a felt tip pen on your brow but this just looks really really light although way too red it's already dry where's the product it's not screaming out to me and the shade's really off it goes really dry really quickly so you have to shake it often i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite brow pencils which is the nyx micro brow pencil and i use the shade black and I'm just gonna go over that because it literally looks like I've got like red stuff in my brow. It's, the shade's really off. I should have just gone with black because I used black in the micro brow pencil. But yeah, the, the micro brow pencil is like so good. Okay, so those are the brows done. I'm definitely loving the brow glue. Now we're gonna go on to, I guess we can go on to skin now. I have been loving the NYX Marshmallow Primer, but I'm gonna try and apply it on one side only, just to see if there's like a difference. Applying my SPF. I really like this one because it doesn't need like a white cast or anything. This is like my go-to, or like the Fenty um, SPF moisturizer as well. And I do put a generous amount. And then some of my NYX Marshmallow Primer on one side smells so nice so for the nyx total control pro drop foundation i got the shade golden which is what i use in the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation uh, i first bought beige which was way 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 off oh my god guys but anyways i'm glad i got the right shade in the end i got this for 16 pounds on beauty bay and it says it's lasting lightweight sheer to medium coverage with a demi matte finish that looks like true skin features an easy to use glass dropper for customizable application if you want a sheer transparent coverage you can use two drops if you want medium coverage you can use three plus drops or, or if you want a full coverage it's four plus drops so we'll see we'll see i'm just gonna give it a good shake it does have a little glass dropper like this i'm gonna try two drops first wow shade match on point
I'm not gonna say anything right now. I'm not gonna say anything, but this is looking. So if you wanted a sheer coverage, it says to put two drops and I feel like I put two drops on my cheek and like, I'm pretty happy with that coverage. Honestly, guys, it's like butter. It's like butter. It's definitely giving me Demi Matte vibes. I'm gonna put three on this side, just for my cheek area. Where my scars gone? Where my scars gone? <gasps> wow, this is blending so nice. It's definitely glowier on the NYX primer side, which I'm not mad about, but you can see like the foundation itself is definitely more matte. But like, this is beautiful. To be honest, I don't need three drops because literally a small amount can go a really long way. So yeah, I'm happy with two drops. Like this is definitely more full coverage. Could even put more if I wanted to and I feel like it will give me more coverage, but let's try and put some more, just a little bit on my cheek. So just one little drop, see if it can cover. Because these two scars have been a bit hard to cover. I mean, it did really, really good, guys, right? It's this liquid gold. Oh, my God. I just love how this is sitting on my skin. Um, For concealer, I'm going to go for the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. And I use a shade beige. I'm just going to blend that all out. This concealer is like medium coverage you wouldn't say like full full i'm going to be using a bit of my nyx matte bronze in the shade deep tan another product that i got is the new nyx sweet cheeks blush mousse in the shade coralicious you guys know i love a nice uh coral blush i also love that it comes in a tube Okay, you really don't need much of that blush. I'm just using my foundation brush to dim that out, but yeah, you really don't need that much, honestly. So I'm just gonna put like a little dot. Honestly, a little dot goes such a long way. Put some on my nose, but yeah, I really like that. It's more matte because it's applying a matte here. But on this side, it's just super glowy because of like the primer. So yeah, I really like that. I love the shade. And it suits my skin tone really, really well. I like that. We're going to see how everything wears throughout the day as well, guys. And then the last thing that I wanted to test out today is the Epic Wear Metallic Eye and Body Liquid Liner. And I got the shade Brown Metal. You guys know I love brown liner. Honestly, that is so easy to like apply. I'm just gonna put a bit of my bronzer in the crease. God, so far I'm just loving everything. My skin looks so nice. I don't know which side I like because this is definitely, definitely demi matte vibes and this is really like glowy, right? But you know, I have really dry skin, just a note. So if you do prefer that more matte finish, I would definitely skip the primer or just use more powder. Um, I know Jackie Aina uses a technique where she puts her primer in and she would use powder first then her foundation and you know set again afterwards and her makeup always looks flawless so if you have more oilier skin definitely check out her videos honestly i love her foundation reviews yeah the the liner is just really really subtle guys it's just perfect for every day literally just poked my eyeball with the mascara wand do you guys have plans for like going out because obviously lockdown rules have been lifted not to the max but we can now eat out you can only eat outdoors though and we can like go to pubs and stuff 
not that I'm a girl that goes to the pub, but you know, like we can just, we're just getting closer to like normal life, right? But have you guys been like going out or made plans? Because I don't know, like I'm just waiting a few weeks before even stepping out. I just want it to die down. Cause I've been seeing some queues outside some shops and it's just crazy. And also I'm not gonna lie, like I've been getting some like anxiety, like from going out. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've forgotten to connect with people. I've forgotten how to socialize. Just being around a lot of people just makes me so nervous. And I, I was already a homebody. Like I, I, re I really liked being home and now being home after a year, for a year and now having to go out and about and stuff like, even work as well like the whole commute thing i have to probably go back to that soon too but let me know how you guys feel i know like a lot of people are eager to go out but a lot of people are a bit nervous to go back to that normal life right like socializing i know i will get back into it but like the first couple times would be a bit weird i really miss like walking around in central especially like especially in like oxford street but i know it's gonna be like packed and i'm just gonna put some lip balm I, i've been loving my nars afterglow lip balm in the shade orgasm it just gives this really slight pinky tint and like it's just really comfortable we're going for a more natural look today okay so that's the finished look i um guys this foundation is looking bomb like bomb.com so far I can't wait to see how this wears throughout the day. Obviously, this is my first impression. Um, my first time using it. I'm really liking this side, but I also like this side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, shade is on point, and there's a lot of shades in this. So hands down for that. I love like the pipette application. I love that it's not too liquidy, so it doesn't like drop everywhere. I, I feel like this will last me ages, even though like it's in a little tiny bottle. Um, you really don't need much and you get 13 ml of product in here um but yeah i'm really happy with just two drops and i think i put a little a little dot here here and here but that kind of made like one not even one full drop i feel like but yeah it just looks really flawless and skin like definitely looks skin like i feel like it looks more skin like on this side than this side like here you can see i'm wearing a bit more makeup because i feel like because i put more and like honestly it was so satisfying blending this out it was like just blending like butter like spreading butter on toast I'm not saying that my skin's like toast right i really do like the blush too you really need a little bit so this will last me ages not that big of a fan of the brow pen but love the brow glue oh and the liner is actually not too bad i do see myself using it it's just ever so subtle honestly so yeah it is now 7 31 a.m i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and we'll see how this looks all right guys, it's now 7.25 p.m. I just finished a workout. It was mostly, it's mostly arm day today. Yeah, I've been wearing this for a good like almost 12 hours. Well, 12 hours I would say. Now, honestly, overall this foundation doesn't look too bad. I don't know what to say, like it's held up pretty well. I can only just say that there's some like gathering here and that's it really. It's gone off my nose. This side looks pretty flawless to me, whilst this side I feel like it's gone a little bit patchy. Although I felt like throughout the day, this was looking a bit better because of the primer. Because the foundation was gathering a lot here, but not on this side. So it was kind of nice. It was kind of weird to see the primer actually doing its work. But I would definitely say the primer gives a much more dewier finish compared to just the foundation itself. Um, it's really good. The only thing I would say is that it does transfer for sure like i kept seeing it on my hands every time i was touching my face whilst for example with the dior face and body i don't get that i don't get transfer on my hands whenever i touch my face so i feel like some product has come off but i didn't get any smile lines i didn't get any dry patches and yeah there's just a bit of gathering here but everywhere else looks pretty good and i actually kind of prefer it without the primer it gives this more skin like finish with a little bit of a glow towards the end of the day um, I feel like if you have oily skin, maybe skip the primer um, and use a bit more powder. But yeah, it, it's, it looks pretty good and every time I was checking in throughout the day, like I was quite pleased with the finish, the way it looked, the shade match. I would say it oxidizes the tiniest amount, but you can barely notice, like it, it becomes a little bit warmer. For a drugstore foundation, the really good shade range, the way that you can just choose what kind of coverage you want, if you want to go light or not. 
I don't know, I would probably give it like a good 8 out of 10. Would I wear this again? Definitely. Uh, would I repurchase it? Yeah, I think I would actually. It's a really beautiful product and I do love the blush. I feel like you can still see it right now, 10 hours, like 12 hours later, it's still there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I feel like it's more here than there. So that's why I can kind of see like the primer doing its job. I'm not a big fan of the eyeliner. Like you can barely see it. It's gone. It's kind of like blended into my skin tone. You can like barely see it. There's like a slight metallic finish. But yeah, that's not very long wearing at all, to be honest. So yeah, I'll give a miss for the liner. But yeah, love the brow gel too. It's did pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tryout video. Let me know what products I should try out next. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.